In today's video, me and a fellow Zombies YouTuber, Det Somerset, will be playing BO2 Zombies without opening a single door. We are only allowed to stay in the spawn, and to spice things up a bit, whenever a player goes down, we will end the match, and the player that did not die first will receive a point. Oh, and we're also going to be playing every map except for the transit survival maps. So, who will come out on top of this challenge? Let's find out, shall we? The way that I would normally do it is basically um, whoever dies first loses that round and the other person gets a point. Um, oh, okay, and then at gotcha. the end, at the end, you can kind of tally it up and see who wins. I almost went down just then. So <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. Hey, Ted's out there. Hey, yo, Let's what's go. going on here? Let's go. I'm going to go take a ride real quick. Screw the first room. <laughs> Hey, quick What's revives on, here. Ted? I could uh, I could revive you faster, dude. Oh, yo. That's a good idea. That's a good yeah. idea. Yep, considering yep, yep. once I die, I die. But uh, you No, know. no, no. no. I, uh, trust me. I, I'll bring you back. Trust? Oh. I'll bring you back. Ooh. <laughs> Playing the risky business Bro, it, over it's here. It's round one. If you die in round one, we're going to have some issues. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, would you expect anything less from me? I mean, you're the greatest zombies player I've ever seen. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't know who told you that one, but I wouldn't trust him. Nobody had to tell me. I just watched your streams. I'm like, dang, this guy's oh, insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, go check out that Somerset, best zombies YouTuber to ever exist. <laughs> Bro, if it makes you feel any better, I almost died right there. <laughs> Ooh. I don't even know why I'm building the turbine. I don't know, something to do. We're going to be up. here for a while. I'm, I'm, not a I'm long picking up, all, uh, oh, I'm going to be here for a while. I don't know about you, though. I'm picking up Ooh. Olympia Gang. Huh? That's right. Olympia Gang, yo. Olympia Gang. You know, I'm just going to pick this up. Screw it. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> you know, I'm wondering the same thing. What the heck? I don't remember the nuke sounding like that, but all right. That was, that was a bit wild. That was one of the nukes of all time. It certainly was. Ooh. Also, I will say it is nice, like, on Plutonium, being able to increase the FOV even more. That is 100%. Nice. Only problem is I'm going to be getting hit from like <laughs> places that I'm not used to. <laughs> Parts you didn't even know you had. Yeah. You know, it's like a it's like a Friday night. Just getting hit <laughs> in places I'm not expecting. <laughs> I don't why do I still have Ooh, just the max Olympia? Ammo let me, reload good sir. I'll do let me that. buy much. the uh Okay, yeah. I'm good. Ooh. This young man's coming in an orange jumpsuit. I'm not liking the way he's looking at me. Oh, that's the, that's uh, he's the main character in Prison Break, which is what I have to watch. Oh, really? Tattoos on his back and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He escaped the prison I just to turn into prison, a zombie. I have it tattooed on my spine. Oh yeah. Imagine being in prison. Imagine being in prison. <laughs> that must be suck. Me. Tell you what, though, stand in a full line, bunch of other naked dudes, bend Whoa. over, and cough. Mm, dang, that sounds like the prison experience. That sounds like my Thursday. Oh, don't ask. Oh, that explosion kind of hurt you a little bit. Uh, you didn't see anything, sir. I may have detonated that on purpose. What? <laughs> oh, what a guy! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I held that grenade okay. maybe just a tiny bit longer. The, I don't know. the Olympia's rate of fire was uh, a little bit slower than I expected. I almost died. Oh no! That Olympia, you know, it doesn't it doesn't one shot at point blank range apparently on no, round five. That, that's true. I don't know how it's the best gun in zombies. Stop the cap. Well, it right, is right behind the Springfield and the SMR. That's right. That's right. If I'm playing Keener or Toten and I'm only pack a punching one gun. I'm pack a punching the Olympia. You're right. Actually, I mean, I do kind of like the Olympia pap with the the dragon's breath ammo. <laughs> Memes aside, you're actually right. You're actually right. Like I I I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to pap it like hardly ever, but uh, it is no. cool. It's a four shot too, isn't it? Or am I just making that up? Uh, I I don't know. I think it's still two shot, Ooh. but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. It, it wouldn't be the first time that uh. Cod zombies just completely ignored how guns work. For sure, for sure. Uh, no! Oh, there it is. The nose bleeds. There it is. It, Round six. His his nose is bleeding. My nose is bleeding, sir. All right, 
Take my life, boys. There it is. Round six gaming. There it is, lads. What is going on, guys? It is Patrick here. How am I going to look up my channel, First Room BO2, and Prism comes up? <laughs> Dang. Didn't he quit? Did he? I don't think he's uploaded in, like, forever. Ooh, that hurts. Yeah. I remember a lot of people were, like, you know, saying that he was the guy to bring back the community. Dang. And and then he, he just left. I don't blame him. Yeah. The amount of zombies YouTubers that just up and left. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's true. That's very true. So one thing that I definitely remember doing is do you know, we I just consider... remember we get a perk, can't we? There's no power switch on uh, New Town. So there's no power switch, no. Uh, what were you definitely guys a quick revive is kind of useless in this situation, but if, if somehow Jug lands out here. That'd be epic. Big plays. There are two, uh, what, two spots? Yeah, there's two spots. Um, there's they uh, could go. Or three, green. actually. Yeah, three, three. So is we could three? definitely get... Yeah, there's... Uh, one in the middle over here, and then there's one by the yellow house. Oh, okay, right, right. Imagine we get Jug and Pep. Oh, that'd be epic. Imagine. Best RNG of all time. Jimmy Zelensky would not be happy. Oh, Jimmy Z pouring out Jimmy for the boy. Jimmy Z. I kind of had this self discussion last time. What? Is it specifically rooms, or is it you can't buy any barriers? Because. I'm just gonna say, don't open any doors. No. Okay, that's fair. You that talking about the? You sense. talking about the bus? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it. You know, it. If you really want to open the bus, we could. Yeah. We'd, I mean, we'd I guess be it's here. Kind of. We'd, be, we'd be here, here a lot forever. longer though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Nuketown, the 45-minute video. We spent 30 minutes on Nuketown. Dude, that was like I I did this exact thing uh, solo on Bo1. I did all the first rooms mm -hmm. and i kid you not like every single map was pretty much like i don't know 10 to 15 minutes maybe and then Ooh. ascension got to like it, you know it got to like 20 maybe because of the big spinny thing uh -huh. and then call of the dead was like an hour because i was just i was committed to killing george and i actually <laughs> did kill george in the spawn that's insane the M14 and Olympia, and in and out of the water. yeah, the M14 and Olympia did basically nothing. The only reason I was able to kill him was because I got a couple death machines, but Yo, uh, it did happen. Huge. And what's sad is I, I believe right after I killed him, I went down with the perk I got. No, yeah. that sucks. That was definitely a sad moment. Kill George down by a zombie, oof. Yeah, that was rough. But, I mean, it is what it is. Also, when you pump the field of you to 110, these reload animations get a little sus. They get a little bit like, uh, they were a bit, they were a bit cheeky back in the day with these animations. Like, my dude, he literally just takes the mag and then puts it right back in the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was like, there's absolutely no way that the field of you will ever widen at any point in the future. We are good. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. Before, like, Modern Warfare 2019, I don't think they even gave a singular crap about the PC versions. No, that's true. That's absolutely true. Weren't they, like, normally made by other companies as well? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I, I would I even like say I that MW 2019, like, the newer games, like, even their PC ports kind of suck because they're super choppy. But they're still oh, better they than the old ones. Oh, for sure. You can tell that it feels very much just like a console port with some keybinds updated and speed cola you know, stuff like that. Hey, at least since uh, you know we we move on after one death, we don't have to worry about like losing these perks. Like I can just pick up speed cola and not give a crap. It's true. It's true. And by the way, I'm genuinely surprised that we even got a perk. I was expecting that to land somewhere else. Yeah, that was pretty lucky. Sussy bata. Dude, I don't know why, but on Nuketown, like, the textures, they stop loading in so quickly the moment I go anywhere else. Like, it, literally, the field of, or the render distance is so bad. No, you're totally right. You're absolutely like, right. Like, this bus, as soon as I get, like, right here, 
it turns mm-hmm. into a whole different boy. <laughs> like, like it just loses all of its quality. It's it's honestly it's crazy and it's super noticeable. It is very noticeable. And I'm sure it comes from an era when they were like, hey, they won't have yeah, on 360 and PS3. And like that. And, well, that's the thing. Like they made all this crap for console first, for sure. And the field of view probably is you know making this worse because like on console you got that garbage field of view so like the render distance probably not as bad true that's a good point hey olympia with speed cola not bad not bad hey Hey. ted ted made it over here ted i heard you boy another appearance yeah get you get your booty over here no there it is round seven round so i'm losing this so horribly hey we still got plenty of maps it's not over yet all right, True zombies, enough. go ahead and take me. Round seven, that's one round higher than last time. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving up in this world. Well, we're about to get nuked, so it's all right. It's okay. It's no secret that Die Rise is one of my favorite maps of all time. God, this is probably one of the worst first rooms. It is... It really like I I'm gonna be honest I don't have a whole lot of faith. It's for this it's one. it's terrible because not only is there nothing to it, and in yeah. fact is there only one gun in this first the Olympia. room? Yeah, yeah. So the that's M14 is up through the door. Yeah. So that's it. And then on top of that, this map has armored zombies. So. Oh, you're right. Oh no. So this is gonna be rough. Oh, I'm playing Stoolinger. My God, there's nothing worse. Oh. Than playing oh, a Stoolinger no. on Die Rise. You hear all sorts of <laughs> demonic freaking chants. It's horrible. <laughs> You're I hate right. it. Bro, I, are you serious? Where I'm standing, the desk is not there. It what? literally just disappeared. No. The view distance. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> PC what version. Is, when you zoom in, it takes you back yeah. to normal FOV. Dude, and it pops right back here, in, the but... railing's gone. Oh my god. This game was made in like two days on PC. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy Z, what were you doing, buddy? He was too busy trolling the community with PhD. You're right. He was like, God, he I only c- showed up to work one day that entire oh, month, yeah. and he was like, I need you to put PhD right there. Right there, failure. It Jim- won't be usable, my- but that's the idea. My name is Jimmy Z, I got a country accent, failure. I can't believe the Olympia is the only gun in this room. Are you serious? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what type of decision that was. I'm I think Jimmy Z is an Olympia fan. <laughs> what does Johnny J see in this map? I don't know. I, I don't know. dude, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I made a short that was ranking like all the BO2 maps, and there were a lot of people that were not happy with me putting Die Rise below Transit and Town. Really? And I get it. Like, you know. I mean, I understand if, like, you prefer Die Rise over Transit and Town. Like, I get that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, Die Rise is just so... It's just so uninteresting to me. It and I'm, is. And I it fall really off is. the map 24-7 as well. Like, yeah. to me, Transit... E- even in my short, I said this. I said that, yeah, Transit's probably worse than Die Rise. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. However, Transit's more interesting to me than Die Rise. <laughs> It like is. it's like it's like a like, fun I guess bad. On Die Rise, there's more to look at. There's kind of some more interesting places to go. Kind of, it's not just fog and yeah. cornfields and Ted beeping at you all the time and leaving you. But you're right. Like I mean, I understand that like the map design of this map is interesting because it's so vertical. But right. I don't know. Like I feel like Transit is just fun bad, whereas Die Rise is you're just right. boring it's bad. Just, it's just bad bad. Yeah. No, you're totally yeah. right. It's like in uh, Donkey's video. I don't know if you watched Donkey, but in his video where he was like, Redfall is a fun bad game. Lord of the Rings Gollum is a sad bad game. <laughs> <laughs> I do watch Donkey. I haven't seen him in a long, long time, but I didn't realize he said that. <laughs> yeah, Don- Donkey, he, I still like Every time he drops a video, I'm, I got to stop what I'm doing and watch it. Dude's hilarious. Seeing this freaking railing <laughs> disappear every two seconds is so... <laughs> And the desk, man. Like, how? <laughs> I'm not even that understand. far. Oh, crap. Oh, God. I almost took the elevator. Whew, whew, whew. I've been hit. I've been hit the once. I've been hit the twice. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh fall oh, damage. Die rise. I was hurt. <laughs> it's die rise, boys. Fall damage. Oh my god. I didn't die from the zombie. I died from fall damage. All right, you know what? You know what? I I'm I'm not no point for that map. How about that? How about that? No point. Like we'll just I'm willing we'll just to keep take going. The negative point, but if that's the way you want to do it, then I'm all right with it. Well, what I'm saying is like I won't get a point for that map. Like, we'll just, we'll just act like we just played it and nothing happened. Cool beans. I'm alright with that. <laughs> alright. I mean, it's die rise. Come on now. <laughs>
I'm gonna zap the zombies away. Woo! This is getting a bit redonkulous. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, there's my boy. Oh, he be coming. He be moving. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there it is. I'm down. Yeah. Down seven. We both died, though. I mean, you died first by like two seconds, but <laughs> I don't know. How. Yo, the funny number. Oh, you did have an extra down. I'm, I'm going to write that one down in the notebook. <laughs> at this point, like, it doesn't even really matter what our score is at the end. I think it's just it going to be, it it's going to make for a fun video. You're absolutely right. <laughs>
I'll just take this very dangerous edge. Yeah, you take the, the dangerous side. Origin's first room is the most fun because you can get a uh, double tap and you can get the papped gun. So that one's easily the most fun. Excuse me? Yeah, if you get 115 headshots in the spawn and you spend 30k points, you can get double tap and the pap gun from the box. Excuse me? That's a thing? You didn't know about that? No. This I is guess, news to me. I, I guess I've done a lot of spawn room challenges but yeah so if you get um obviously the one challenge for the papped stg scar or whatever it is you know the ar um that's 115 headshots okay so if you get 115 headshots in spawn you get that gun from the box and then on top of that if you spend 30k points you get the double tap drop so if you just buy ammo for the ballista and the m14 over and over until you get to uh 30k then you can get double tap so you can be in the spawn room with a papped gun and double tap in origins that's it's, crazy. It's not easy, though. Especially, no. like, two-player. Like, it, you know, by the time you're getting close to the 115 headshots, like, it's gonna be, like, getting up there in the rounds, and it's gonna be uh, difficult. Right. But you pretty much can't miss, like, any headshots. But it is fun. That Origins first room is definitely the most fun of BO2, for sure. I would agree. I would agree. Even though I didn't know any of that, just I, I can't believe you didn't know about lazy, that. Lazy casual over here. Oh yeah, man. Seven. <laughs> Sixty-nine kills. I <laughs> have funny number. <laughs> I mean, at this I point, just... like I'm almost tempted to just see how far we can get on Origins and say screw the like moving on. <laughs> Since it's the last map, just because I, <laughs> I I am curious to see how far we could go on that map. I don't True. know. You know, I'm when I down when I do a when I do a video, like everything gets scuffed, so at this point my viewers expect that like all the rules just go down the toilet. Also, I think I'm <laughs> I may enough. be dying soon. Oh, this is gonna be ooh. Ooh. Oh my, I got the whole gang up in here. Ooh, I'll help a little. No, yep, that's it. Oh, there you got, it is. You got there you got your is. first victory. There there it is. Hey. I had the whole gang on me. How how was your side better? Like, bro. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll never I think know. it's because I think it's because your side had like one spawn. It has one spawn. I was I was abusing I was abusing that pretty <laughs> yeah. badly. <laughs> yeah, I had three barriers over there. Like I had the whole crowd on me. Oh well, it yeah. is what it is. Oh well, I'll take my one dub. Fog rolling in. That's where your combat experience is. I can track, um, you know, whoever like downs first or whatever. But I say we keep going. Like I say, I'm, like I'm if totally, one of us, if one I of totally us downs, I think we should, you know, revive the other one. Just because I want to see how far we make it on Origins, because it's the most. I fun. like that. All right, here we go. So yeah, definitely you want to buy M14 or Ballista Oops. like ASAP. It doesn't matter which one you buy, but you, you're gonna want to get them headshots. I wouldn't even try to make points with the the Mauser. I just go for those headshots. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay up uh, there, I can stay down here. Sure, yeah, I like that. Normally, I'm up top, but uh, we can, we can change it up a little bit. Cool beans. Speaking of, uh, your voice is loud in my head. Oh yeah, his voice is always loud. It's always in people's <laughs> heads too. Like all Bo2, he's just talking in your head. In Can't escape this guy. But uh. Speaking of origins and obviously Avenged Sevenfold, Shepherd of Fire, you listen to the new album? I did, I did. What'd you think? Me personally, I, I've seen a lot of people and it's basically either you love it or you hate it. I fall mm -hmm. on the side of loving it. I thought it was I very also unique. I fall on the side of loving it. I thought it was very unique and I thought it had some, you know, like heavy, like good sounding, like catchy songs as well. Like it's not all just experimental, but for sure. Um, but I loved, like, the feel of it. It definitely is one of those albums that, you know, you definitely, like, by the end of it, you feel quite a quite a bit of, of stuff going on in the in the soul. <laughs> no, absolutely. I think it's such an interesting choice to end the album with a vocalless ballad. Yeah. And I think that's super experimental. I shouldn't say experimental. I'm sure plenty of albums do that, but it's, it's experimental it was, it was for It's very them. nice. I saw some dude do a, um, like, I saw his video was, like, ranking every Avenged Sevenfold song, and I was like, alright, let me check this out. And then he put that song at the very bottom in last place. I was like, alright, I'm clicking off. Oh, yeah, alright, see you later. See you later. <laughs> like, I, I get it if it's not your cup of tea, but, like, come on now, like. 
I don't know. I really love the album. I think it starts out really strong. Uh, like the single Nobody really grew on me. At first, I wasn't it, yeah. huge on it. But I now agree. I actually really love it. Um, even even We Love You, which I was not crazy about at all when I first heard it. But like mm -hmm. after after like listening to it uh, with the album, like that's the thing with this album. You have to listen to it start to finish. Like it's not it one is. of those, you know, albums where like it's got some good singles that you can just like pop on whenever. I mean, it is like there are singles that you can listen to whenever. But like for the most part, like you definitely need to listen to it start to finish. No, I totally agree. It's definitely a concept album. or At least that's the way it feels. Oh, I don't yeah. know if there necessarily is I think a story is. going on, but... I think there is. And I'm just going to start this so we can both get quicker vibe. I like it. Oh my god, my headshot's on point. Oh no. Oh, 1500. 1500 for yep. a multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Alright. The oh, grind yeah. of 115 oh, yeah. headshots I'll should be rough. I'll join Faze after missing those four headshots. Let's oh heck go. yeah. I took that headshot you know, overall, I love the album. Yeah, I loved it too. It was great. And it was one of those things where, like, for a lot of people, it's probably going to be a grower <laughs> album. Because, uh, I mean, even Nobody and We Love You were songs that didn't, like, it, it took a minute for me to really appreciate them. But the album yeah, itself, totally for some reason, right after listening to the album, the first time, I was like, this is, like, an incredible, like, experience. So, I had the exact same reaction. It, the album didn't even really have to grow on me. No, I, I loved it pretty much from the get-go. I, one of my favorite like subgenres of metal is the proggy stuff. Oh yeah, and for so sure. those have kind of become some of my favorite bands like Periphery and uh, make them suffer as going a lot more proggy and stuff like that. Um, so Avenged Sevenfold to go full prog after kind of toying a little bit with it on the stage. Yeah, um, I love the stage, I and a lot of people it. didn't like it. I loved the stage like the stage ranks pretty high up there for my favorite a7x albums starting to get a little nuts up in here we're getting a bit of uh good luck i had to, I had to use that zombie blood <laughs> oh no i got trapped i had to ah! that's all right we're we're, we're working together that? on this one did i did that? see that oh, that no. was actually oh my god how are yeah. you not dead <laughs> that oh, dolphin no. died dude we're from gone. my we're from, gone. <laughs> from my perspective that dolphin dive looked absolutely ridiculous i cannot wait to see your perspective that was <laughs> i don't even know how was... i pulled that off i suck at this <laughs> dude that was hilarious oh man Dang. god i'm only how it's gonna take a while happen? it's gonna take a while to get that 115 uh i need to be buying ammo as much as i can i'm gonna buy quick revive as well Mm. Oh, Oof. I got double swipe midair. I get you. I get you. Again on round seven. <laughs> really? Yeah, it is round seven again. That's hilarious. Ooh. Ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. Missed the headshot. That's not good. That's not good. I just did it again. Ah! Oh my! No! No! Dude! I was, I was really hoping that we could get something oh, going there. God! But I suck. <laughs> You know what, though? Like, that... The train, it does get rough, I will say. Like, when you don't have that, that papped weapon, it, it gets difficult. True. True enough. Dang, I'm really... Ah, I, I wanted to get that papped weapon and double tap so bad, man. <laughs> you were I might, almost there. I might have to, like, one day just go back and make, like, a standalone, like, Origins spawn room video and just see how far I can make it, because, like, that would have been fun. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want more challenge videos in the future, be sure to drop a like and sub the channel. And also check out my man, Det Somerset. Fantastic Zombies YouTuber, the greatest player I've ever seen in my life. Oh, thank you. And, uh, but yeah, anyways, see you guys in the next one.